Hey, what's up guys? Your average war gamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And today my topic is very important and very interesting to talk about since well these two ships which is Rhode Island probably one of the most anticipated battleship for a lot of players since it has a lot of good features for a tier 10 battleship American battleship as well as USS Johnston which is a destroyer but uh, well these are not going to be available for coal or any other resources and well they simply said that you can only get them by the help of doubloons you can see here armory for doubloons as well as in the premium shop so well i do have some speculation and these are my thoughts and opinions that what can possibly you can do about it and what do i think that how you might have a chance to get this johnston at least for like minimum resource possible like you will spend like little to no money and you will get it almost for free but the Rhode Island seems to be having this complicated route that he, it has taken and it has been given by Wargaming because well you cannot get Rhode Island for free like it is expensive it is a really good battleship right now but you cannot get it so what are the ways this is my speculation and thoughts and I will give you each and every route that you can take and that is totally up to you that how do you take them and get it in your port so let's talk about it in detail so i have talked about carl 14 johan and minugumo and a couple of other ships that you can get by exchanging your forest sherman i posted the video like almost three minutes uh, three months ago almost two and a half months ago if i'm not wrong and i also uh, posted a recent video again about that that how you can actually exchange your forest sherman which is right now you can get it for gold you can trade it and then you can get it back i i will post the link in the description below so you can go and check that out but i do believe that those ships these ships as you can see again rhode island and johnston might be available in this uh, trade and event i believe that th this might be possible that they will add these ships back carl 14 johan and minigumo and all other ships you can see here even Gallon, Dalian, there are a lot of ships that are available in this trading event, especially if I talk about Hull 14, Yuhan, Minigumo, and Dalian. These are not available for resources whatsoever. They are available right now for doubloons, but I think that the USS Johnston and Rhode Island will be available, might be available soon enough. So, for example, if we have USS Johnston, a tier 9 Fletcher class destroyer, if it gets available in trade and event, well, it's going to be costing around 19,000 doubloons. So, well, how much you have to spend doubloons to get this ship in exchange for coal, like for a Sherman? Since for a Sherman is the cheapest coal ship you can exchange for a uh, USS Johnston, well, the numbers are pretty simple. Well, if the USS Johnson is going to be available for 19,000 doubloons, if I minus it with the half of the price of a tier 10 ship, which in this case is for a Sherman, and that is 17,325 if I'm not wrong, then you will get 1,675 doubloons. So you have to spend 1,675 doubloons and obviously you have to exchange for a Sherman itself to get USS Johnston. Well, in the case of, uh, you know, the Rhode Island, if it gets into a trade-in event, and it is honestly possible, but there's a complication at least in the case of uh, this battleship, because the, the price of this battleship full price is going to be 34,650, okay? If I minus it with the half of the price of tier 10 destroyer, which in this case, I'm gonna be exchanging it with for a Sherman, minus 17,325, you can see that you still have to pay half of the price for this US, sorry USS Rhode Island so it's gonna be still very very expensive and uh, I mean this is the only cheapest route that I can give you for Rhode Island unless they will add it for coal maybe six months later or maybe I don't know whenever they want it because at the moment we just have no idea what they will do so this is pretty much that I think that it will be available Rhode Island and Johnston will be available I mean, there is one way that they will be adding it, and that is on the July of, uh, July of 4th, you will have access to Rhode Island and Johnston in the armory for doubloons, at least that's for sure. But they are going to be very expensive. And if we players, maybe as a free-to-play guy, maybe as a player that he wants to spend as little money as possible, what he can do, I have given you the route. It might be coming in trade and even. I don't know, but this is 
probably possible because well they have added a couple of ships like Carl 14 Johan Minigumo you know that they were not available previously but they have added them in trade in even so it is entirely possible well there's one more possibility and that is that they might add them in the coal section now you can see i have exchanged forest sherman a couple of times for uh, Carl 14 Johan and Minigumo so well i have to purchase the sherman back and i will have it back in the port without exchanging anything and giving anything or any ship whatsoever so i do believe that this might be a, there's still a possibility although the chances are i would say five percent ten percent minimum at best but if you wait either for trade and event or wait either for coal ship that is totally up to you but i do believe that it might not like it might not happen in future like the coal ship sort of uh kind of not looking in a good state like they haven't added a coal ship for like the recent what six months like the last ship that we have got for coal and that is well that is hellford we only have gotten this ship at january 2024 and i mean it was released like even more, even more than six months ago like you know it's it was it was available in the forms of bundles you can buy it and just spend some money and get the ship if you have a chance but then they finally added it in coal but we can we can see here clearly that well there are a lot of coal ships out there but these are all older coal ships you can see here sherman's been available for like so many i would say years or something for now malta new strishimi black there are so many ships u2 u451 is one of those uh, you know submarines that has recently gotten available but there are so many ships out there like kabaros moskva these are tech tree ships i mean these are all the ships that we know that are in the game for a long time so we haven't seen a single coal ship that they might add into this game i don't know what happened this is kind of a question for all of you guys to understand that this coal situation or coal add ships that they will add something like that in future i think this sort of is dead that's what i totally believe i don't know if they would have added a coal ship it would be the case but i think what they have done right now is well they are focusing more on these trade in events wargaming probably knows that people are exchanging their tier 10 ships which is like forest sherman and maybe other coal ships to get these ships like Carl 14 Johan, Minigumo, and you know, these all other coal ships, like for example, like Carl 14 Johan is not for coal. I mean, these are all the ships that are not available in coal. So they're going to be trying to sell it in that way. Meanwhile, you will still have to spend some doubloons. And that is really, really kind of concerning to me that what's going to happen in the next few months or even years to come is, is the coal ships are completely dead. That's my question to you guys. What do you think? Because I do believe that this seems to be not looking in a good way or direction. Because I would really want to see the Rhode Island back in the armory for coal resource. But they did not have done that. And the chances are so slim. I really doubt that. And I think that they are focusing more onto the steel ships. Like we have regularly seen a steel ship release. You can see here, Commissar is a recent released steel ship you also can see the research bureau ships are pretty much latest out there like there are a couple of uh, newer ships that have added like hector van spagic sorry van spagic i don't know how to pre uh, pronounce that name i'm sorry if anyone just felt bad about that but still oh cecilia is a very recently re uh, released uh, research bureau ship and they are also going to add berenice a french cruiser in the research bureau so these are pretty much healthy in terms of uh, recently added ships but uh, in terms of coal I don't know. I seems to be having very skeptical, you know, situation about uh, this whole coal scenario. Like we are not getting any coal ship whatsoever. What are your thoughts, guys? I have given you three routes. You can go and maybe wait for trade and event. You can spend on 4th of July for doubloons. And you can even go for maybe a route that is a coal route. They might add for coal, but that is completely my speculation. I don't know, guys. Please let me know. What do you think in the comments down below? Well, at least I am happy, at least for one thing, and that is that they have recently added a really good dockyard ship, which is Wisconsin. I find it very enjoyable. I posted a review. That is pretty good. The dockyard, the first dockyard that I have seen is not only cost less, like 3,200 doubloons if you buy a starter pack, but also a battleship that is very fun to play and enjoyable experience. I mean, it is definitely very strong, but still, don't get me wrong, you still have this battleship in your port. You feel good if you are a new player. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good thing to have in your port. 
But again, you don't have any recently released coal ships. I mean, coal is an easy resource to farm, but we haven't seen that at all. They already have remo removed the free XP ships. Like, we can see, or we will never be able to see, uh, you know, free XP ships ever in future. What do you guys think? Is this the same route that Wargaming is taking for coal? Please let me know. And I will definitely catch you guys into the next video. I hope you get some value, valuable information. And if you have any comment, please let me know because this is a bit concerning to me and, that, and I want to basically give some value to the subscribers and want to let them know that what I think. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you into the next one. Peace out.